We designed the trial because the relative merits of Ticagrelor and Prazoglil in acute coronary syndrome patients were not known because a uh, head-to-head comparison in the whole spectrum of ACS patients regarding one-year clinical outcomes was missing. And we therefore designed this investigator-initiated, randomized, multi-center, open-label trial. We enrolled a total of 4,018 patients and assigned them to either a Ticagrelor or a Prazoglil-based strategy. Primary endpoint was a composite endpoint of death, myocardial infarction, or stroke at one year after randomization. We hypothesized that Hagelor would be superior to Prazoglil regarding this endpoint. However, contrary to our expectation, we found that Prazoglil was superior to Hagelor. And importantly, this superior efficacy did not occur at the expense of an increased bleeding risk. Actually, bleeding risk was not increased with the Prazoglil-based strategy. The trial not only compared two drugs, but also two strategies. That is, different loading strategies in non ST elevation acute coronary syndromes, pretreatment versus no pretreatment. The COAST trial had shown that pretreatment with Prazogrel in non ST elevation myocardial infarction increases bleeding, but does not provide ischemic, anti ischemic benefit. Therefore, it is not recommended to pretreat patients with prosopagal and non-ST elevation MI, and this is also reflected in the current trial. So in non-ST elevation acute coronary syndromes, patients randomized to prosopagal received the loading only after coronary anatomy was known and before proceeding to PCI, whereas patients randomized to Tachagra received the loading dose as soon as possible after randomization. So in summary, the trial has shown that a prosopagal based strategy with no routine pretreatment in non-ST elevation acute coronary syndrome patients is superior to a Ticagrelor-based strategy.